Hello there, and our Tuesday roundup comes from an appropriate place right on the Flemington Strait that they'll thunder down in the new market handicap at Group 1 level this Saturday. Speaking of the new market, and there were some jump outs on the course proper this morning. Sham Express, Shamal Wind, and Better Than Ready all worked together. We caught up with Danny O'Brien and the Queensland visitor Kelly Schwader. Yeah, I thought he went really nicely. Uh, we wanted to just hold him up a bit early in the trial and finish it off, and he was really strong late, so he couldn't have done much more. I was disappointed in his lightning run. I was expecting him to sort of be right in the mix for the placings and, and um, he was a bit plain late but he had a few excuses. You know, one of them certainly trying to sit with Black Caviar early uh, just meant that he didn't have what we would have liked late but she's not there on Saturday. It'll be a different tempo and uh, I'm sure he'll be a lot better suited. That was the thing that persuaded us to come was the 50 and a half kilos, you know. Look, even if he could run in the top five he, he'd be certainly on track for a, a promising horse. Um, He's run good time in Sydney when he when he won. You know, they all said there was a tailwind, but it was probably not the first time they've had a tailwind at Randwick. Um, those horses that he beat performed well, ran second in the Coolmore, and I think the one that ran third ran second on Oaks Day. So the form around him's all right, but you know, how do you know until you try? In the other heat, Lucky Gray from WA, who has the top weight, worked with Lone Rock for Robert Smurden and Fontalina for Anthony Cummings. They went fairly steady out of the gates. I think they're all looking for a leader and none of them wanted to do it. But in the finish, they hit the line as well as anything has hit this morning and uh, quite a nice hit out uh, in a final gallop for us. Uh, I suppose the thing for us to think about going into Saturday is that we go into the race on about 52 and a half and the horse is 12 with the, the top of the weight. So, you know, his, uh, you know, his prospects on Saturday are pretty strong. Well, the judges tell me you have to and logic tells you you've got to do this sort of stuff. And uh, to me, he... Um he didn't look around too much at all, so I only saw it from behind and I just looked at it on the uh, monitor and uh, I think he was quite comfortable. Things are looking OK for the unbeaten Barraki. He worked with Wurham from Queensland this morning and are both of them working nicely to the line. Barraki hoping to get win number 12 out of as many starts. The G1 Championships will come to a conclusion on Saturday and the Australian Cup is the final leg for the middle distance performers. This is the situation at this point in time. Fortella did some work on the course proper this morning and after winning at Caulfield, if Fortella was to win or finish very close to first placing on Saturday, then it's likely he'll take out the consolation $50,000, which means that Fortella will have some money to go overseas if the connections choose to do so. And... Chris Waller's words were they haven't got anything in mind at this point in time overseas, but they'll think of something. That's the roundup for today. Till next time, enjoy your racing.